Now let's talk about the subdomain method. Uh, the subdomain method, as any other weighted residual method, wants to uh, minimize the residue over the domain. Uh, so uh, what we do here is we integrate the residue over a part of the domain. Uh, and in that part, we force the, uh, the, the residue, or, or sorry, the integral of the residue to be equal to zero. So now imagine that you are integrating a function from x equals 3 to 5, and then that integral is equal to zero. The function is not zero all over that part of the domain. However, when it's equal to zero, that means in that in that region, the positive parts and the negative parts have equal areas, so uh, they add up to zero. Now, the more the more uh, subdomains, uh, uh, or uh, yeah, the more subdomains in which the residue is equal to zero, uh, uh, the more accurate your result will become. And this is basically the main uh, target of uh, all weighted uh, residual methods. So uh, now let's uh, uh, write it down. Uh, uh, it's basically integrating from any internal point, <coughs> uh, sorry, from any point on the domain to any other point on the domain. This is our subdomain. So, for example, here, if x1 is the boundary on one side, xn plus 1 is the boundary on the other side, uh, we are integrating, say, from x2 to x3 and forcing the residue to be equal to 0. Repeating this on different subdomains, from x1 to x2, from x2 to x3, and from xn to xn plus 1, you end up with a number of uh, equations, each of which has the unknown uh, coefficients ai in it, and then you can uh, get to solve them. Uh, in this uh, in this method, you have to integrate, not like the collocation method where you just plug in the numbers. Now you will integrate these functions uh, or the differential operator after after the differential operator operates uh, on them. And then you get the uh, system of equations you are uh, looking for. Uh, if we get back to our uh, bar uh, uh, application, uh, what we get is, uh, again, a set of uh, approximate solutions, each multiplied by a constant, a coefficient. Then uh, the uh, differential operator operates on those uh, approximate functions and you get the residue equal uh, to zero. Applying the subdomain now will give us uh, uh, integration of each of the second derivative, each of those derivatives, from some point xj to some point xj plus one. Uh, and now actually xj and xj plus one can be the two boundaries and you use only a single subdomain. In that case, you will have a single uh, series solution as we're going to um, actually do in our uh, illustration. Uh, now, you also have to integrate the function f of x from uh, xj to xj plus 1, and you end up with uh, a matrix uh, or a set of equations uh, in, we, in which uh, kij is the integration of the uh, double of uh, the second derivative of psi i from xj to xj uh, plus 1. Now let's use the subdomain method to uh, solve the, the example of the bar with a distributed force. Uh, if f of x uh, is a constant, again, like, the, uh, like we uh, did in the collocation method, uh, we can again select the same uh, admissible, uh, sorry, the same function or the same approximate solution sine pi x over 2L. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, since we have only one function, we can use only one subdomain. So our subdomain will be the whole domain, uh, which is from 0 uh, to L. Uh, substituting and uh, performing the integration, uh, you will get uh, the uh, integral as uh, Ea pi over uh, 2L. Uh, 
Uh, now you can solve this single equation in a single unknown, A1, uh, to get that u of x is equal to 0 0.637. Remember in the collocation method, we got 0 0.57. Uh, for the maximum displacement, uh, apparently the collocation got a better result. Uh, however, uh, still <laughs> that doesn't prove anything. It's just a coincidence. The subdomain is, in most cases, uh, more accurate than the collocation method. Uh, we have uh, here 0 0.637 L squared F over, uh, F over uh, EA, uh, while the strain uh, you, uh, for the strain, you got the exact value. Uh, here, the strain at the, uh, at, uh, the root at x equals 0 is 1 times LF over EA, and the exact solution is 1. Again, uh, this is a coincidence. You'll not always get the exact solution, but in this problem, uh, we got it.